Hey guys, just doing some scale basics today. Um, I am walking you through, so there's the other video about me building my yogurt parfaits, a uh, super common, almost a daily uh, thing that I eat. Another very common meal of mine is good old tacos. Um, you can never go wrong with tacos and uh, Mexican food, food you can make very macro friendly all the time. Uh, today I'm doing my taco shell version and I just want to show you guys a little bit. I know you all know that I've been doing this for a couple years and so weighing, measuring, and tracking my food has become a little bit easier for me and so sometimes I know it's just really good to see a visual of how someone else does it to be able to understand um, how you can maybe simplify uh, what you're doing. So I wanted to walk you through um, my whole process and so I don't know if you'll be able to see the scale down here I'll kind of walk you through what the numbers say as I go um, but the most important thing is so I have my day planned right so I'm coming and up on my on my lunch and here I have tacos planned and so I already have the preset amounts already tracked so um, I've got my little taco shell holders here and then I have my three um, old El Paso taco shells that you get a really good macro bang for the buck um, for these just plain old generic uh, corn taco shells. So I'm going to place them on my plate and then I want to be sure since I've got that going I'm going to hit the zero button on my scale there uh, so you can see that takes me takes me back to zero uh, there on the scale. So I'm ready to add my next ingredient and the next thing that I have are it is just some grilled chicken that I'm putting on my tacos. Now the serving size here says 114 and that's approximately what I have uh, measured out but I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and then uh, pay attention to how close I get once it's on there because a lot of times if it's grossly off of what I've tracked I will be sure to go in and adjust adjust my day. So we'll see how close on this one the packaged instructions. Um, what I'm using actually are, uh, if you're curious, sorry this is only half the package, but these are chicken skewers that I get from uh, Costco that are grilled and pre-ready to go and I just throw them in the mic, take them off the skewers uh, off the mic or put them in the microwave for a few uh, seconds and they make a great easy meal. So, so lesson learned. The serving size on the chicken skewer says 114 grams. I only have 83 here. So I'm gonna go back into chronometer, I'll log that and uh, make sure because that's a significant enough change, I might wanna reflect that uh, and just see how that impacts my day. So I've got that on there. I'm gonna hit, hit the zero button again because I'm ready for my next ingredient. So next I'm gonna enter, and again, you guys know I don't, I don't cook a whole bunch. So I've got one serving of pico that I entered, uh, which is going to be 28 grams. So I'm going to keep an eye on, I'm up to 14, 22, 25, 24, goes back and forth there, I'm at 30. So here, I'll just take off what fell on the plate here. And there we are at 28. All right, so I'm gonna hit the zero button again. And then I'm gonna go with my salsa here. And this is 31, so I'm gonna keep an eye on Let's see, I'm a little sloppy. I'm a super sloppy taco eater too. So that got me to 27. So I'm, I'm just gonna stop there just cause I'm super messy uh, and that is close enough. And there's hardly any, there's not a whole lot of macros in, uh, in salsa. So a couple of grams here, or there is not gonna be a big deal. And for the finale, I have my Chobani uh, low fat plain yogurt, which is an awesome uh, sour cream. Substitute, and I've got 15 grams of this program, so I am going to squeeze 
this song. It's about five, so a down and back, I realize, is about what I need. That took me to seven. And there I am at 13. Take this little bit off, and that'll probably get me pretty darn close to the 15 that I have programmed. So there you have it. I use that zero button, make everything on my plate. I'm pretty much ready to go. And I know that what I have is um, pretty close, except for that chicken, uh, was pretty close to what I weighed and measured out. So, and if you would have something that was a little bit over or something, you could just it the same way. And depending on what kind of food it is, you may or may not uh, decide to adjust your day at all. Most of the time, I find that if I use more or less of something else during the day, um, it ends up working out pretty good. But anyway, bon appetit.